As Canelo Alvarez prepares to face rising star Edgar Berlanga, the boxing world is buzzing with predictions from top experts. Will Canelo's wealth of experience be too much to handle, or could Berlanga's knockout power shift the momentum? Let's explore what the experts think. I mean, Ber Berlanga said he has a higher ring IQ than Canelo, so we're going to see some things we've never seen. Yeah, like, well, how does that look? Well, that's what he said, so I don't know. I don't know. See, you know what the most powerful information in the world is? What's it? Information that I know that you don't know. So oh, information no. that he knows about Canelo that Canelo don't know, you know, then we, we don't know. He has a game plan. He says he has a game plan. We don't know what it is. And it's probably better to not have not to know what it is. Because, you know, it's just going to destroy it from the masterpiece that's going to be on September 14th. Oscar de la Hoya has been outspoken in his criticism of Canelo Alvarez's recent actions, particularly regarding negotiations and his avoidance of certain opponents. De la Hoya said, Turns out, I'm not the only one who thinks Canelo is an arrogant piece of turkey I'll shake. He went on to reveal that Canelo has refused to meet with him, and, is avoiding potential deals due to his inflated demands, which even the Saudis have reportedly turned away from. De La Hoya further accused Canelo of steering clear of tougher competition, especially David Benavidez, suggesting that Canelo is deliberately avoiding that challenge. He also took a personal jab at Edgar Berlanga, who will face Canelo on September 14, questioning Berlanga's Puerto Rican identity. De La Hoya remarked, Edgar, bro, you're from Brooklyn. I think I'm more Puerto Rican than you are, and I only lived there for six years. Puerto Rico doesn't claim you. In his prediction for the fight, De La Hoya hinted that this matchup pales in comparison to much larger events, casting doubt on Berlanga's chances against Canelo. This fight will not do well on September 14, not only because the matchup is okay, but because they're going up against the UFC's debut at the Sphere in Las Vegas. Now that's a spectacle that everyone and their mother has been waiting to see since it opened up about a year ago. And who is funding it and making it all happen? Turkey Alashik. Canelo, you're really making the wrong enemies. But you know what? When addressing Edgar Berlanga's dismissive remarks, Caleb Plant highlighted Berlanga's apparent lack of understanding about the challenges ahead. Plant remarked, he seems unaware of the levels he's about to step up to. He's focused on me, but he needs to concentrate on what's right in front of him because he's got a full plate. His distraction shows he hasn't been at this level before. Plant also contrasted his own experience with Berlanga's mindset, noting, even during my press conference with Canelo, things got heated, but I wasn't fixated on other fighters. You have to stay focused on what's in front of you, or you'll find there's nothing left. Plant emphasized that Berlanga's knockout power alone won't suffice at the elite level, underscoring that skill and focus are crucial for success. The skills that he doesn't have, a chin that he doesn't have, an experience that he doesn't have. So it's either going to be a long night or more likely a real sh Caleb Plant responded to Edgar Berlanga's claims about his abilities and ring intelligence, expressing skepticism about Berlanga's understanding of the sport. Plant pointed out that such comments reveal a lack of awareness and maturity at the elite level, suggesting that Berlanga may not fully grasp the complexities and challenges he's about to face. He carries a big punch, but most everybody at 168 carries a big punch. You know, there was a fighter once upon a time who said that I would, I couldn't punch, and that you know, what are you gonna do? Run me, run me around the ring till I get tired, and uh, you know, he wound up getting his grave dug, and I want to get knocked out of the year. So everybody at 168 hits hard. So. And, you know, well, I hit hard. Okay, well, we all hit hard. Okay, I got courage. Okay, we all got courage. We're fighters. So you got to bring something else to the table. And Berlanga spoke to that, saying it takes IQ. But it's just unfortunate for him because he don't, he don't really have much of it. Jose Benavidez addressed the controversy and speculation surrounding his support for Edgar Berlanga. He acknowledged the differing opinions but revealed a surprisingly supportive stance. Despite the skepticism, Benavidez expressed confidence in Berlanga though he conceded that quantifying Berlanga's abilities is challenging. He believes Berlanga has potential but recognizes that he still has a way to go before reaching top levels. About IQ, he's talked about chin. Yeah, and everyone started. Jose Benedavides stirred up discussion by revealing his unexpected support for Edgar Berlanga. He expressed his hope that a Berlanga victory over Canelo Alvarez could pave the way for other fighters, highlighting his belief that such a win could have broader implications for the boxing landscape. Mind, proverbially, do you really think that Berlanga is? I mean, you know, I couldn't put a number on it, but I don't... 
Ryan Garcia shared his thoughts on Canelo Alvarez's upcoming fight, expressing strong confidence in Canelo's victory. Um, and I talk a lot of about him. I'm cheering for him. I think uh, uh, I wish him the best. I think he's a young fighter, very talented. Uh, I think if he trains and it looks like he's training hard he's super disciplined we could have a big upset and i would love for him to beat canelo so he can take all those wealth belts away and then all these other fighters have a better opportunity with canelo you never know what's happening you know he, he doesn't have berlanga doesn't have that power you know to choose and do whatever he wants at this point so that i think that will give uh, more opportunity to all the 168s but at the end of the day canelo's a great fighter pound for pound the best and i think he can adjust and i think this style is going to fit for him you know uh, to beat Berlanga, but I'm cheering for... Uh, uh. Danny Garcia highlighted the significance of the Canelo Alvarez versus Edgar Berlanga fight, noting its high stakes and appeal. Garcia remarked, This is a great fight. Canelo is a legend facing a young, hungry contender. While Berlanga might not be Benavidez, he's still a formidable threat. He's young, strong, and has everything to gain whereas Canelo has everything to lose. The Puerto Rico versus Mexico rivalry adds to the fight's marketability. Boxing is all about creating events that sell, and with the passion both Puerto Ricans and Mexicans have for the sport. This fight is set to be a major spectacle. Garcia's analysis highlights the blend of competitive intensity and cultural elements that make the matchup so compelling. I like him. I like him. Like I said, you know, I like him. And like I said, the, the, the only other reason that I want him to be Canelo so all these other fighters can have opportunities to fight for those belts. I feel that Canelo has been uh, has these belts husted for a long time. They already took one away, but he already he still has three of them. So, uh, I mean, who's going to he fight next after Berlanga, you know? So uh, I'll be happy if uh, Berlanga can beat him. Danny Garcia voiced his support for Edgar Berlanga, emphasizing the excitement and significance of his upcoming fight against Canelo Alvarez. Garcia highlighted Berlanga's youth and hunger as key factors making him a serious contender. Juan Manuel Marquez also weighed in, noting the disparity in experience and skill levels between the fighters. He pointed out, the level of opponents is different. Canelo has the experience, while Berlanga does not. I believe the pressure is on Berlanga, and he needs to face other great fighters. I think Canelo will knock out Berlanga. Jim Lampley assessed the current state of the matchup, comparing Berlanga's performance now to his earlier knockout streak. He observed, if Berlanga were fighting like he did during his long knockout streak a year or two ago, it might look better. However, since then he's shown some technical flaws. These flaws are problematic against Canelo, who is a brilliant technician on a bold and controversial prediction. Lampley declared that Canelo Alvarez is poised to easily outclass Edgar Berlanga. I know Canelo's gonna win, so... Shout out Canelo. So you don't even need to go to the Canelo fight because you know he's going to win? Yes. You don't, you There's just... no disrespect to boxing to Canelo, right. but we know Canelo's going to win. By knockout. Let me see. Six. Teddy Atlas shared his perspective on Edgar Berlanga's upcoming fight, emphasizing the gap between Berlanga's potential and his current level of experience. He remarked, Berlanga is a young, talented fighter, but he's inexperienced at this level Atlas's comment underscores the significant challenge Berlanga faces when up against a seasoned opponent like Canelo Alvarez, highlighting that despite Berlanga's talent, he lacks the high-level experience needed to compete effectively. Leonard Ellerby also weighed in on Berlanga's challenge against Canelo Alvarez, acknowledging the difficulty of the matchup. He noted the unique qualities Berlanga brings to the fight, recognizing that while the task is formidable, Berlanga's distinct attributes could play a role in the bout. I had a bet. I'm a, I got a bet against the odds. Uh -huh. I got a bet Berlanga. That's the only way you're going to win money, uh -huh. you know? And, you know, Berlanga's my guy. You know, we have fun together. Outside, in the, you know, we we be outside together, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, I consider him a real friend. He's been in my house, you know, we've been on yachts together, having fun. So that's my bro up there. You know, you I'm think proud you can of him. You think he can knock Canelo out? He has the power to. He has the power to. He's got to go now. Like, you know, boxing's all right here. Spiritually, man. Boxing's all right here. If you, if you believe you can do it, you can really yeah, do it. You know, because, you know, Canelo has been beat. You know, he's not unbeatable. You can beat him. You got to believe. But, you know, it is it's, it's, it's a mountain to climb because it is Canelo. You know, Never been knocked out. Canelo's a dog. That's one thing I can say. Canelo's a dog. Do you feel it's a good fight? That it's going to end up being a good fight? No. No. I think Canelo's going to undress, undress Berlanga. I expect Canelo to technically undress him and make a strong statement that he's still Canelo Alvarez. Leonard Ellerby provided further insight into the Canelo Alvarez v. Edgar Berlanga fight, 
Acknowledging the challenges Berlanga will face due to Canelo's extensive experience, Ellerby remarked, Anything is possible once you step into the ring, but Canelo, with his top-level experience, will pose significant problems. Canelo has seen every style and will anticipate what Berlanga is trying to do while he's doing it. And he'll be able to counter that Ellerby predicted the fight will likely end between 6 and 8 rounds, with a body shot being the decisive factor. He emphasized Canelo's skill as one of the sport's top body punchers, saying, he knows how to place those shots perfectly, and many fighters are basic compared to Canelo. He's seen every style out there. Teofimo Lopez Sir gave a straightforward prediction for the fight, reflecting on Berlanga's ability to handle strength after six rounds. Lopez Sir said, said, Berlanga's a good friend I love him, but Canelo's on the pound for pound list for a reason. Canelo's got a chin, and he can hit hard. I don't see Berlanga having the power to knock out Canelo. What I see is Canelo walking him down and tearing him apart by the sixth round Lopez Sir expressed concern about the timing of the fight, noting the mismatch in experience between the two fighters.